My name is Jason and I'm a registered dietitian here at the Cincinnati VA Medical Center. Today, I'm here to show you a recipe that is easy and filling. This recipe is from our very own Healthy Teaching Kitchen. The recipe we're gonna try out is pinto bean burritos. Beans are an inexpensive source of protein and an excellent source of fiber. This recipe only has a few ingredients and is packed with fiber, protein, and flavor. Let's get started. Add two cans of drained and rinsed pinto beans to the already warm skillet. Next, we are adding one cup of medium salsa. Two teaspoons of cumin. One teaspoon of oregano. One teaspoon of garlic powder. You can substitute one to two garlic cloves in place of the garlic powder if you like. After we get all the ingredients in, we're going to stir the beans and we're gonna keep the skillet on low heat for 10 to 15 minutes until the bean mixture is warm. Once the bean mixture is warm, we're gonna grab one whole grain tortilla and we're going to place a half a cup of the already warmed um, pinto bean mixture onto the whole grain tortilla. So half a cup. And then we're gonna to top it with two tablespoons of cheese. Once we have the cheddar cheese on top, we're gonna to fold it. And the most important part, we're gonna enjoy it. Here's a recap on why we love this recipe. It's quick. Instead of driving through a fast food line, the recipe is ready in minutes. Also, choosing beans and whole wheat tortilla can keep you fuller longer. And lastly, it's versatile and tasty. You can adjust the recipe to your liking by adjusting the herbs and spices to any level. You can make your adjustments by adding lettuce or tomato or even another protein source such as chicken. For more information on our Healthy Teaching Kitchen classes, contact extension 6309. We hope to see you in the upcoming classes. Thank you for watching this video. Hi, I'm Liz, a registered dietitian at the Cincinnati VA. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a strawberry walnut salad with a red wine vinaigrette dressing. This is one of my favorites, especially in the summertime. It's full of flavor and takes just a few minutes to make. One thing a lot of people don't realize is how simple it can be to make your own salad dressing. When you make your own salad dressing, you get to control all the ingredients that go into it. And so if you're trying to watch the amount of sodium that you're consuming, or you prefer different spices and herbs, you can make those adjustments. So let's get started with this recipe. After washing your hands, the first thing we're gonna do for this recipe is prepare the salad dressing. To do so, we're gonna first take one third cup of olive oil, one fourth cup of our red wine vinegar, one teaspoon of Splenda or sugar, one teaspoon of Dijon mustard, and then one teaspoon of minced garlic. So once all our ingredients are in this small bowl, we're gonna simply whisk this together until it's well blended. And there you have your completed red wine vinaigrette dressing. Next, we're gonna make the salad. So to do so, you're gonna take your mixed greens or your baby spinach, and you're gonna place these into a large bowl. These are already pre-washed. So we have our greens. Set this aside. Today, we're gonna to be using strawberries for this recipe, but you could easily use apples or another fruit that you enjoy and might have on hand. 
in all, we'll need about a cup of strawberries. And we're gonna slice them all so they're about a quarter of an inch thick. So we're gonna take our strawberries and then place them in the bowl with the spinach greens. Next, to add to this salad, we're gonna use one third cup of chopped walnuts. And then one half cup of feta cheese. You could also use blue cheese or goat cheese. Uh, my flavor preference is for feta, so that's what we're using today. To complete this recipe, we're going to take our mixed greens and we're going to pour over them our vinaigrette dressing. We're going to toss this until equally coated and so that all ingredients have a good amount of dressing on them. If you're making this recipe ahead of time, you'll actually want to keep the salad dressing separate from the greens until just prior to use. All right. So once it's ready to serve, we're going to dish it up and we're going to enjoy. Here's a recap of why we love this recipe. First, it's delicious and takes just a few minutes to make. Second, it's low in sodium and rich in heart healthy fats within our walnuts and our olive oil. And third, it's an excellent way to get fruits and vegetables together in one simple dish. We hope you enjoyed cooking with us today. If you'd like more information about our nutrition classes, please call extension 6309. We very much look forward to working with you in the future. So for today, we're gonna make a Thai veggie peanut noodle that you can do for lunch or for dinner. And this has a lot of vitamin E and vitamin A that helps boost your immunity with the broccoli, the peanut butter, and of course the carrots. It's something that everybody has, peanut butter and spaghetti probably in your pantry, and it tastes delicious. Hope you guys enjoy. All right, to make pasta out of zucchini, you'll just need a peeler, and you'll take the peeler and rub it on the side of the zucchini to get these flat, long ribbons, and you'll do this all the way around to make these pretty pasta ribbons. So with the pan that's heated, we're gonna add our oil, and we're gonna add a couple of tablespoons of olive oil, and you can see the pan is hot. Then we're going to toss in our zucchini ribbons for them to cook and then just for a little bit of extra color we're going to add our chopped tomatoes since we eat with our eyes it makes it look very pretty and of course it gives it extra vitamins and minerals so it only takes a couple of minutes two to four minutes for it to kind of wilt and once it's wilted it is ready to go All right. to make our avocado pesto we're going to add two avocados that have been um, taken out of their husk and then we're going to add some lemon juice like half a cup of walnuts and then we're going to use some basil if you have fresh basil that would be great a big... and then we're going to put this in to spin around and slowly drizzle in a little bit of olive oil to make a paste We've added our sauce and we're going to mix it together with our zucchini ribbons 
aka our pasta, to get it all evenly coated, get it ready to serve. And look at those pretty bright colors.